Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So I've been working on hummingbirds, lots of hummingbird things, and I have some things to share with you. And I want to start off with some traveler's notebooks. I have three traveler's notebooks. These are using the John Gold Vintage Hummingbirds. Um, he loved hummingbirds and he painted, drew, illustrated them so beautifully. And so that's what I'm showcasing today. Um, and each of these journals has a different purpose. So this green one here, this one is going to Joanne. Um, we just finished a swap and you've probably seen it, but we enjoyed it so much. We were already discussing another one. So I just decided to give her this one, but I embossed, did some black shiny embossing around there and I'm not going to go into it. So it will be a surprise for her, but that one's for Joanne. And then um, this one is for the um, my customer I was telling you about who is an art history major. You will be seeing lots of journals for her because she ordered quite a few of them. And um, <laughs> this actually inspired me making the nature journals for her, inspired me on the hummingbird theme. And so hers does not have a closure because she's actually using it in a traveler notebook cover. So now I, I just want to talk about the construction a little bit. So we have a textured card stock. And then I used one of the Martha Stewart punches to punch out the hole and then put um, just glued on the picture through that and then used a white pencil to highlight around and then there's flower stitching. These are little tulips on the edge, straight stitching around the rest of it. So on the inside, I use the scrapbook paper to cut, to cover the punch out there. And then each of the books has this little part of a poem from John B. Tab. A flash of harmless lightning, a mist of rainbow dyes, the burnished sunbeams brightening from flower to flower he flies. And that's about a hummingbird. So I thought that was perfect. Each journal has that. And so I'm just going to flip quickly through it. Um, there's also teeny tiny little hummingbirds and you'll be seeing those later on as well in some snippets that I made. There's little beads and charms and tags journal cards. Um, this one's back with coffee dyed paper. Here's a little bead dangle I made. Washi and there's stenciling on the coffee dyed paper. And then some Ada cloth and a flower embellishment. This is what inspired me initially for the hummingbird journals. And this is the digital curio. Um, she has a hummingbirds collection and you get these and then these blue papers to back them with or to go with them, which I did. And I also used my embroidery machine and each journal has a different embroidered hummingbird. And so this is the one for this journal and it's just on a little flip up. So there's journaling space on that for her. There's music paper, more hummingbirds from Digital Curio. And I just got these flower charms. I think they're gorgeous. So I put one in her journal. A giant tag I had got in from Junk That Treasures back when her shop was still open. I'm trying to use up the inventory that she gave me because if she does reopen her shop and send me anything else, I want it to be current. So I just did some flower stitching and straight stitching around that. And here is a little hummingbird snippet. I made a whole bunch of these for my shop as well. But as you can see, there's those little tiny hummingbirds and then layers and all of that. This is a coloring book page and then some scrapbook paper. And this is an envelope that is glued on this side. And then um, here I have extra journaling space and then it opens up. And then here's a tag for more journaling. And then this is a little, um, what's it called? Guest check, something like that. Or, you know, an order form for a restaurant. This was also from uh, Junk That Treasures when she sent me stuff. So put that in there. And then this is a beautiful book page of this gorgeous hummingbird. And then I just added some coffee dyed paper. This is a, someone building a birdhouse in the background, but she needs journaling space. And then this is a flower book page. And then some washi and it says magic and truth. And then artist, another um, journal card. And this is backed with more of that order form paper. This is a beautiful piece of, it has some embossing of, it's a wallpaper. I guess it's called embossing on the wallpaper, but it's stitched and glued on here for lots of extra journaling space. There's a coffee dyed paper ribbon. It's 
is thinking of earlier days. And then here's a couple um, clip-ons, hummingbird. Here's a mini little snippet down there. And then this is from Cool Mom Book Boutique. And I just thought it coordinated so beautifully with this. This is one of her sewing themed ones, but it's a great journal card. More beautiful digital curio hummingbirds. And then I just added some coffee dyed paper here so she could journal. And then some blue lace, which makes a pocket. And we have a index card and then a vintage hummingbird drawing card. And these are in my shop. You can purchase those. Little embellishments. This is music paper from 1949. And then I just stitched on some of the hummingbirds. And that's that. And I forgot to mention the hummingbirds on the front. These, um, they may be John Gould hummingbirds, but they were um, digitally designed and altered by Tsunami Rose, the ones on the front. The ones on the inside are just prints of John Gould's hummingbirds, just to clarify that. Okay, so now I have one more hummingbird journal, and this one is in my shop. And I do want to mention that it's going to have a quantity greater than three. I mean, greater than one. I haven't decided exactly how many are going to be in my shop, but there's one. So um, I guess I should figure that out right now. Um, it's going to say, it's going to say quantity, we'll say quantity, yeah, quantity three, because that's how much I have, I think, for papers. Um, so quantity three, and when it says three, if you buy one, you're getting this one. After that, I will be making one very similar for you, but will be a made to order. Okay, so again, textured cardstock, but I just sewed on a little corner here with some leaf. Here's these Tsunami Rose Hummingbirds. And then um, this comes right off, so you can use it or not. And then let's get inside. So again, we have that same poem beautiful digital curio. Uh, here's a heart charm. This is just at the moment stenciling. It's very, very similar. So I'll go quickly through it, but just so you can see, here's a vintage playing card. And I think Ellie sent me that. And here's a hummingbird. And then I just added like this little flower dangle there. Lots of fun. Here's the embroidered hummingbird for here, and there's a silver doily peeking out around that. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers. Here's a smaller version of the hummingbirds on some vintage music paper. Here's like a to-do list from a Philofax 2007, which is almost vintage by now, not quite, but getting there. And then there's a little bee dangle here, some leaf trim. Here's a snippet right down there. It says, it's a subject well worth considering. This is a print from a 1915 garden annual. And then I just backed it with some cardstock and added, just clipped in some index cards to make it a little index card holder. So you have extra index cards to use throughout your journal. Here's an iris, stenciling and washi tape vintage music paper that's from 1949, more hummingbirds. This is a bag. It, I think it was from Ellie. She actually put some of her goodies in there, but I wanted to reuse part of it. So you have a big storage place there. There's a paper ribbon and another snippet. Here's a perpetual calendar stamp, more digital curio. And then I cut one out in the shape of a heart with some fabric behind it, some fabric. Here's a double tuck spot. So we have a stiff lace and then a hummingbird journaling card. So we have a Scattergories game card and then a little snippet tag. Some hummingbird, more hummingbirds. And then on this paper clip, there's a little safety pin with a couple little coordinating beads. And I clipped two pages together here. Let's fix that. There we go. Another snippet. Put a lot of snippets in this book. And then here's just a few pages for journaling and then like leaf stitching. 
So this is the one in my shop, and if you order um, number two or number three, it will be very similar. The colors and placement and pictures might be a little different, but it still will be pretty much the same. Now, we are not done quite yet. Um, I've got a few more things. Let me grab them here. All right. <laughs> okay. So, let's, we have snippets, but we'll start with snippets. We got so much going on here. Okay. So here's a whole bunch of snippets. They're all three layers, a teeny little hummingbird picture and uh, like a flat back flower. And there's four sets of six available in my shop. They will be a little cheaper than the dragonfly ones I made because there's no, um, there's no like safety pin or words. They're just a little more simple because I think that the hummingbirds speak for themselves so much that yeah, we don't need any extra. So I'm not going to show you every one because there's a lot, but I'm just showing you what you might get if you order a set. I think that one came out so pretty. Just love, love how beautiful they are and delicate, the little teeny hummingbirds. So I made a ton of snippets for my shop, so I've got that. And then I have... I thought it was time to make another bound book because it's been a while. Nevermore Creations presents John Gould's Hummingbirds, 40 different vintage images. So um, he's done more than 40 hummingbirds, but I, I chose 40. So you're going to get two four by sixes. And the idea here is you have two choices for a cover if you're making a hummingbird journal. This is printed on um, 28 pound paper. So it's a little heavier. It's kind of like a presentation paper. Then you have 40 in like the postcard type size, you know, four to a page. So it's one of each. And I'm just going to go through quickly. Each one is different. Each one is gorgeous. <laughs> and then we get to the nine to a page and you have one of each of these, which is the same as the bigger ones, just smaller. And then I added this. This is how I made the snippets. This is called a contact. I think it's called a contact page. There's 35. So it's not all of them. But um, I just used my punch and punched out this side for the snippets. So I wanted to include this. So if you wanted to make your own snippets, you would have tiny hummingbirds all ready to make snippets. So that is my new bound book. And last but not least, I have two more Notions boxes, a purple one and a pink one. And I went hummingbird themed for the cover. So I made a large snippet. And you have the laces here. And then we have one of the hummingbird pictures and then a button. This is the pink one, and I'll show you what's inside. So we have various buttons and laces and trims. We have different beads, and there's a little teeny bottle with a cork that's removable. And then there's a little wooden bird. These are pretty big. They would be really neat on a really heavy, they almost look like hearts, but they're um, like a plastic bead but they would be great on like a big tassel there's three of those it's a little hard to get in there and then these are like they have like a crocheted um cover over them they were like a piece of a junk jewel junk jewelry i guess so three of those and then a whole bunch of little foam flowers so these would be great to use if you're buying one of these books to buy this to use to make snippets i think that would be a lot of fun and then once you've used what's in it, you can continue to refill it or um, once it's empty, fill it back up and send it as a gift or a swap. Great for Mother's Day if you have a mother who likes to sew or craft. So here's the purple one. And this is just like a stone, like a purple looking stone. Again, a big snippet. Here's the butterflies. And then a little different in here, but the same basic idea. So here's our, your buttons and your laces. There's a big, some flowers in here. There's some tool and little leaf beads in here. Great for nature, beautiful for snippets. There's some big um, rhinestones and flat backs there. And then this piece from like a junk, I think it's from like a junk jewelry or something, but I thought it would be gorgeous on a tassel for a journal. And I wanted to include that. Um, again, these go great if you order the book. So I have those. So just click the link below to purchase if you're interested. Thank you for watching. And I'm hoping to do a snippet tutorial 
um, like a craft with me snippets for next month's mini um, project with me. This month we're doing the journaling cards that's coming up. And next month I'm thinking about doing snippets. So let me know what you think in the comments below.